Hey, what's good? Coach Colin Castelli here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to tell you three reasons why Steph Curry is a better shooter than you. All right, so my guys over at eSpace sent me over a few pairs of the Under Armour SC302s. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a few things that allow Steph Curry to make more shots than you. Now, it could be really, really easy to say repetitions, right? Steph Curry gets a ton of reps, and that's one of the reasons why he's one of the best shooters ever. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about three things today that Steph Curry does on his jump shot that you probably don't that allow him to make more shots easier. So let's jump right into it. But stay tuned to the end because we're actually going to do a free shoe giveaway for my guys over at eSpace that you're not going to want to miss. All right, so the very first thing we've got is what we call targeting. Now this seems super simple, but it's something that a lot of players actually screw up. And basically it's just the idea of this. As Steph Curry is getting ready to shoot, he locks his eyes onto the rim or onto his target before a lot of other players do. And I'll explain a little bit deeper here. So when Steph Curry is getting ready to shoot, whether it be off of the catch or off of the dribble, his eyes start to creep up to the rim before he's even starting to load, right? So a lot of times you'll notice like if he's catching a pass, the ball will be outside of his hand by a little bit and his eyes are already starting to creep up to the rim right here. So the ball hasn't even entered his hand yet and his eyes are already up early. Now, think about your brain, right? It's almost like a massive supercomputer that's judging, you know, how far away from the hoop you're at, where the defense is at, where you're moving left to right, front to back, all that sort of stuff. And so if, if it only sees the rim for a split second, right? If you find it really, really late on your targeting like most players do, your brain has a very, very short time to react. So if you're getting ready to shoot and you catch and you bring the ball up, and this is the first time you're seeing the rim when the ball is right here by your set point, it only gets from here to here to target and figure out where you're at on the floor, right? But instead, if I'm getting ready to catch or I'm pulling off the dribble and my eyes start going up early, now I get all this time to find out where I'm at and that split second makes a huge difference, right? Think about it like archery, you know, people shooting bows and arrows. If I'm shooting an arrow down the archery rein here and I'm pulling it back, I'm not gonna look off behind me or look off to the side and then at the last second, find my target and let it go. That's not how it works, right? Hand-eye coordination sport, the longer you aim at something, the more accurate it's probably gonna be and shooting's the exact same way. So targeting is the very first way to number one, make more shots almost immediately, right? You don't have to change anything on your mechanics. You don't have to change anything with your reps. You don't have to change anything. If you can get your eyes on target earlier, you're gonna make more shots just like Steph Curry. All right, so the next thing Steph does on his jumper that you may not is perfect alignment. Basically meaning that as Steph starts to bring the ball up his shot line, or the path that it goes towards the hoop, he has perfect alignment with his shooting knee, hip, shoulder, and elbow, right? So you can almost think about it as I'm getting ready to shoot and I release, on my release, I want a straight line coming down all the way through my arm, through my shoulder, through my hip, down to my foot, right? A big mistake that a lot of players make is at some point along that alignment, they break the chain. So that might be that they bring the ball outside their body this direction. So you can see the balls on the outside, I've broken that perfect alignment. They might bring it up and bring their elbow out. That's gonna break that perfect alignment as well. So no matter what you're doing, you wanna make sure that the ball travels in as straight of a line as possible, because if you can kind of negate some of those uh, variables going left or right, you're automatically gonna shoot a higher percentage. And that's one thing that we notice about Steph. When he's getting ready to shoot, it doesn't matter if it's from super deep, if it's off the dribble, if it's off the catch, whatever it is, he snaps that ball back to his shot line and then everything goes up nice and smooth. So on his release, it's almost picture perfect, just like this where everything's in perfect alignment. Now, one thing that will help your alignment that a lot of players don't know is if you tilt your feet just slightly on your shot. So when Steph Curry's getting ready to shoot, he doesn't shoot 10 toes to the rim like this because what that ends up doing is putting a ton of pressure on your shoulders and a lot of times it'll either push the ball out to a left shot line or it'll push your elbow out or do something like that. So try tilting your feet just slightly off to the side and that's actually gonna allow your elbow to fall underneath the basketball and now I can get much closer to this perfect alignment right out of the gate. So if you're having a hard time with alignment, try tilting your feet and it'll probably help you out. All right, so the next thing that really helps Steph Curry out and something that you probably don't do is that he maximizes his power. Now this is one reason why he can shoot from so far out so easily and not even be like that big and massive of a dude, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're maximizing our up force. Now up force is incredibly important on a jump shot because that's where the majority of our momentum's built. So what I mean by maximizing power is this, every time Steph Curry shoots, the ball and his hips move together. So as he's getting ready to shoot, ball goes down, his hips go down, ball goes up, his hips go up. Now the reason why this is important, if our ball and our hips are moving together, we're gonna maximize that up force through your body and it's gonna transfer into the basketball, right? What I see from a lot of players is they don't maximize their up force or maximize their motion and what they end up doing is they put the ball here and they set it on a shelf for a second and then they have to regather that energy and it almost turns into like a uh, heave or push or shove into the shot, right? So what you wanna try to do is make sure that your body's moving fluidly together with the ball. 
Think of the ball in your hips as one. So as they're moving down, they're moving up, just like this. What I would recommend that can help you out is do a lot of slow motion form shooting, right? Or you can even just do kind of like, like fake reps at the three point line where all you're doing is you're going hips down, ball up. Hips down, ball up. Just like this. See as the ball goes up, my hips are firing. Just like that. Now generally you know you got kind of perfect momentum and perfect up force. If the ball's reaching your set point, at the same time your hips are locking out and your toes are getting ready to leave the ground. So we've all gone to shooting clinics before, right? Where we stand in a line and we set the ball right here on our shoulder and this is like perfect shooting position, right? Just right here. But the problem is to be in a perfect shooting position, the ball should be right at your set point right when your toes are getting ready to leave the ground. So you see how my body's nice and straight as my elbow's underneath the ball? This is perfect shooting position to maximize your up force. So what you can do is you can have your friend, you know, take your video, take a picture of you, see where you're reaching your set point at and your video will tell you a lot. So that'll help you out. Maximize your up force and you're gonna get more power, more fluidity and make more shots just like Steph. All right, now for the fun part, let's do some giveaways. So all you gotta do is head to Instagram and follow me at Shop Mechanics and find this post right here and it's gonna give you all the directions to figure out how to be entered to win the shoe giveaway at the end of the month. Now each month we give away awesome stuff from my guys over at East Bay. Last month we gave away three pairs of the Kyrie Irving 4 Lowe's. So congratulations to the winner, but this month we've got even bigger and better stuff coming. So to figure out how to be entered to win, all you gotta do, go to Instagram, follow me at Shop Mechanics and find this post and it's gonna tell you all the information that you need to know. Also, if you wanna get your own pair of the SC302s, just click the second link in the description down below and get them from my guys over at East Bay. They're home of free shipping and exclusive colorways, so you definitely wanna check them out. And I actually love these shoes on feet. The traction is A1, the cushioning is on point, and they really kinda of feel like a sock on your feet. So if you wanna pick up your own pair, just click the second link in the description down below. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.